What is the easiest way to install mods just with a point and a click? Hey guys, it's Chad and I'm constantly asked, what is the easiest way to install mods for Minecraft? Now, a few things, we're talking about Minecraft Java Edition and we're also talking about Forge mods. Way back in the day, you had to kind of crack open the Minecraft jar and then you know delete files and move stuff around. Nowadays, things are very, very simple. With Forge, it is a modding platform. So mods are written for Forge and only Forge mods work with the Forge platform. Basically, think of it as a brand of mod that will work with all the other type of mods that are also in the same brand. So Forge mods have been very, very popular and most of the mods that you're thinking of that you like are now currently Forge mods. So how do you install them? Well, the easiest way to do it, and this is gonna sound ridiculous, is the Twitch desktop app. What happened, the, the, the history to get where we are today, is that uh, there's a fantastic uh, mod platform called Feed the Beast or FTB, and those guys were bought by a company called Curse. Curse are the people who uh, used to run the Minecraft forums, in fact, they still kind of do, and uh, they are a company that builds these type of platforms for games. And then Curse was bought by Twitch, so, FTB got folded into the Curse uh, platform, the Curse desktop app, and then Twitch bought them, and so all of that got folded into the Twitch desktop app. So the live streaming service Twitch has the best Minecraft modification platform around. So here is how to modify your game uh, with Twitch desktop app. This is using two methods. One is just using the list of mods, which is as simple as clicking, yes, I want this one, this one, this one. You can add multiple mods to a game. Or if it isn't in that list of mods on the desktop app, you can drag in your own to the mods folder. So here we are on the computer. And here on the Twitch site, now it's, it seems like it's branded Sea of Thieves right now, but uh, it'll look a little bit different for you. You'll see up in the top, you'll see browse and get desktop. That get, get desktop is what we are going to want to download. And yes, this is the best way to modify Minecraft. So you're going to go ahead and download that. Go ahead and open it. Click install and it'll open. And hopefully you already have a Twitch account or maybe you have a curse account because of, uh, you know, Minecraft forums being on curse and, and that sort of stuff. Uh, if not, you will have to sign up once you are logged in. There we go. Uh, you will see your username and some of your friends and that sort of stuff. But what you want to see is mods right there at the top of the window. And it will show all of your games. And I already have some mod packs installed. And so it'll show Minecraft. Here we go. So I made it a little bit bigger. And you can see that some of these have icons associated with them. Some of them are named better than others. Hilarious. Um, and from here, you can either create new mod packs, browse mod packs, make your own, that sort of thing. So first, let's go ahead and just browse all mod packs. And you can see some of the things that are popular right now. And a lot of these will be for the current version of Minecraft and things like that. So you can see the game is 1.12.2 on a lot of these. This one is 1.7.10. Um, and so you can check that out. Those are all the mod packs. These ones are specifically for FTB on the FTB side of things. And then you can also create a custom profile uh, on that last tab right there. So we're going to go ahead, uh, go back to my mod packs, and we're actually going to go ahead and do that. Create a custom profile. Now, on the uh, mod that I'm uh, checking out, one thing I forgot to mention is that I will be installing the Easter egg mod from two episodes ago. So you can go to that episode to find the mod and download it for yourself. But in that case, it just downloads it as a jar file. There's no way to get it into Minecraft. So we're taking that jar file and bringing it into this uh, desktop app. It did say that this was for version 1.11.2. So I'm going to create this and call it Easter eggs. Remember, you can name this whatever you want. This is just for you. Uh, and you are going to choose the version. Like I said, 1.11.2 is what we want. And then which loader, if it is specific, if the mod says it needs a specific type of loader, uh, normally the one at the top will be the most recent. So it'll be the most patched and the most stable. So we're going to head and choose OK. And it is going to create a new one right there for us. And once it's finished, we can go ahead and click into it. So this is the Easter egg mod pack that I created, but it has zero mods inside of it. 
So if I go ahead and click get mods, it will search the, it will gives me a huge database of mods that are compatible with this game version and this build of Forge. So if I wanted to, I could search for eggs and see, is there any other type of thing that uses eggs? It says you can't roast eggs or eat the eggs. Uh, all of the, you know, these two mods I could add just by clicking install into my game. So that's a very simple way to install things. I could install journey map or storage drawers or chisel. In fact, let me just go ahead and do journey map just to show how easy it is clicking it and it's finished. Now back over here on the uh, main page, you can see the installed mods. I have journey map, but I want to put that Easter egg mod that isn't in that database. I searched for eggs, the, the Easter egg mod didn't show up, so how do I add it? Go ahead and see these uh, triple dots up here, the ellipsis, go ahead and click that and click open folder. This is going to open up the folder that this instance is inside of. So you can see it's really deep inside of all these uh, different folders. Uh, this PC, C, users, me, documents, curse, Minecraft, instances, Easter eggs. And then you have this mods folder. If we double click in there, you can see already journey map is added because I added it earlier. But now let's go ahead and drag that Easter egg mod, which was also a jar. And you'll know that it is a forge mod when it is that dot jar at the end of it. And so this is what I just downloaded a few minutes ago. You can see by the date modified. And you can already see just me dragging it into this folder. It popped up on this list back here and it is basically installed. So now we can click back. Go ahead and click play. It's going to launch a Minecraft launcher with this version, Easter eggs, of Minecraft selected as the uh, type of uh, game that we're going to play. And the first time that it launches your game, it will take a little bit longer because I believe that has to compile the mods uh, the first time. So sometimes the first time it can take a little bit longer, I believe. Okay, so uh, it started up. We know this is modified because you can see all of the stuff down here. Oh gosh, we're getting sounds already. Let's go ahead and turn that music off. Uh, and you can also see the mods button right here. And if we look down, we can see Easter eggs and journey map, which is really, really cool. And we can go ahead and create a world and check it out. I'm going to resize this window. And we are inside of a world with, first off, journey map with all that stuff and also Easter eggs inside of it. So we have modified our own world and uh, it was pretty simple to do it from not only the list of mods on Twitch, but also from our own mods, which are not on Twitch, but are Forge compatible. I hope this answers everyone's questions about modifying Minecraft. This should be able to solve absolutely everything you need. If you're still curious, there is a few other ways to modify Minecraft. Either you can do sort of the vanilla mod modding sort of stuff where you actually go in and crack the, the, the game and, and put stuff in there and delete the meta.inf file, but almost nobody writes those type of mods nowadays uh, and then the other option is to use something like spigot which is a, uh, a modification of the server so that you can do semi modifications a lot of them use the default blocks they don't have their own you know special things uh, but you can do that also using um, some resource packs so there is spigot modifications which is more server side and the client doesn't have to be modified at all and then there's this forge stuff which has to be modified both one question that I tend to get is okay I've finally modified my game but now on my realm uh, it doesn't work my friend modified their game I modified modified my game, we have the same mods, but it's not working. That's because you need to be running a server, a Forge server, and you can also download that from the desktop app. Uh, so you have to be running your own server. You can't just use a Realm or someone else's server. You have to have uh, your own made. So that's how you would do that. I would suggest just playing on land, playing at the same house, basically. I hope that this answers a whole bunch of questions about modifications to Minecraft because this, once you get into it, opens up a whole new world of Minecraft and it is super duper fun. Thanks so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a like. Please leave a comment down below letting me know your thoughts. Please share this video if you found it useful and make sure you subscribe for future tips, tricks, tutorials, and spotlights here on OMG Craft. Bye! Way to install mods. Hello.